Alice, you say, is there a bird at that I'm still looking for on my list that is findable here in the Mara, but that I have not found at Juma? Um, there are a number. I'm just sort of a specific one that I have not seen here that I'm quite desperate to see. Well, you know what? The Narina trogon and the Ross's Luri are two quite interesting ones. The Narina trogon occurs down in the forests around where we live. Uh, it does occur in South Africa, but I've yet to see it there. Uh, well, no, I've yet to see it. But uh, I have yet to see one there. So that's an interesting one. Very colourful, beautiful bird. And then the Ross's Luri... yellow beak, gorgeous, gorgeous. And they do occur in southern Africa, but not a tumour. Look at that beastly thing. It's very difficult to feel affection for that. And I know I'm being very nasty indeed. It's a little bit... They're a very valuable part of the ecosystem, are these crocodiles. But it's difficult to feel affection for that thing. <laughs> There we have a very nice three-banded, very pleasant. And it too is looking, I suspect, for small water mollus mollusks. In fact, I will tell you precisely what it eats, if you'd like to know. I'm sure you would. I would like to know. Um, Lynn, you say how deep is the water. It's not very deep there. I mean, obviously, there you know, they're right on the shallows. It just depends on how narrow the river is at wherever you happen to be looking. So the narrower the river, the deeper it will get. I've seen it probably about five to six feet deep in some places, probably, well, maybe up to eight feet in some spots. But in this area where it is wide and there are rocks and rapids, I think you'll... All we've got... or aquatic invertebrates. Well, I could have told you that, wouldn't I? Foraging and food, aquatic invertebrates. I think probably quite a lot of larvae, apparently, so to look for insect larvae lurking on the shoreline there. I think they're quite... 